Wednesday, April 10th, 2024, Afternoon Edition. Please pardon any visual and informational inaccuracies in this entirely AI-generated News Digest video. Good afternoon, dear viewers. I am your news anchor, Xander Voxius III. Thank you for tuning in to the Future of News, AI-generated News Digest Daily Intelli Report. As always, I will be assisted by my valued AI-generated colleagues in scraping the web for the latest stories and interesting topics and summarizing them for you. Without further ado, headlines of the day. Biden's student loan forgiveness plan benefits 30 million. Dogs share cognitive factor with humans, study shows. China EV sales for week-ending April 7th data. Zendaya discusses early financial responsibilities and desire for education. Latest trends in Watches and Wonders event. Boeing delivers 83 airplanes in quarterly report. Next total solar eclipse details, timing, location, and much more. But first, this day in history. April 10th in history. April 10th, 428. Nestorius becomes the patriarch of Constantinople. April 10th, 1972. Vietnam War. For the first time since November 1967, American B-52 bombers reportedly begin bombing North Vietnam. And now on to today's news. General news. Biden's new student loan forgiveness plan could help 30 million borrowers. Here's who would qualify. CBS News. President Biden unveils a new student debt forgiveness plan that could aid about 30 million borrowers focusing on relief through the Higher Education Act after a previous attempt was blocked by the Supreme Court. The plan targets various groups, including long-term borrowers and those facing financial hardship. Morgan Wallen's Nashville arrest not linked to ex-girlfriend getting married, source Fox News. Morgan Wallen's arrest in Nashville is not related to his ex-girlfriend's elopement. He was arrested for reckless endangerment and disorderly conduct after allegedly throwing a chair off a bar rooftop. Wallen is cooperating with authorities and is expected to appear in court on May 3rd. Idaho teen faces federal terrorism charge. Prosecutors say he planned to attack a church for ISIS, the Hill. An Idaho teenager, Alexander Scott Mercurio, has been charged with attempting to provide support to ISIS and planning an attack on a church in Coeur d'Alene. He was arrested on Saturday for his alleged terrorist activities. Famous people born on this day. April 10th, 1981. Michael Pitt, American actor, model, and musician. John A. Here's a recap of their Wikipedia page. Born in 1815, John A. MacDonald was Canada's first prime minister, leading from 1867 until his death in 1891. He played a pivotal role in Canadian Confederation and faced criticism for policies towards indigenous peoples. Sean Avery, Ellipsis, here is a recap of their Wikipedia page. Ellipsis, Sean Avery, born April 10, 1980, is a Canadian former ice hockey player known for his controversial behavior in the NHL. He played for multiple teams, led in penalty minutes, and later pursued a career in fashion and entertainment. Business news. China electric vehicle sales for the week ending April 7th. NEO 2110, Tesla 1880, BYD 46250, Kenevy Post. Major EV makers in China, including NEO and Tesla, experienced a decline in sales last week due to the Tomb Sweeping Day holiday. NEO sold 2,110 units, while Tesla sold 1,880 vehicles, down significantly from the previous week. Other companies like BYD and Xpeng also saw decreases in sales. Boeing's quarterly airplane deliveries dropped to 83 amid safety crisis, CNBC. Boeing's airplane deliveries dropped in the first quarter, facing scrutiny after a door plug incident on a 737 MAX 9 plane, delivering 83 planes compared to Airbus's 142. Boeing is slowing production to improve quality control after an accident and facing criticism from airline CEOs. What's hot at Watches and Wonders 2024? Financial Times. 
The annual Watches and Wonders Fair in Geneva has expanded with a focus on women's watches. Brands like Rolex, Patek Philippe, and Chanel showcase innovative designs. Noteworthy pieces include Patek Philippe's 24, Chanel's Couture watches, and Vacheron Constantine's complicated creations like the Berkeley Pocket Watch. Science News. The next total solar eclipse, when and where to expect it, CNN. The article discusses upcoming total solar eclipses around the world, including dates and locations for viewing these celestial events. It highlights the recent total solar eclipse that occurred on Monday and provides information on future eclipses, such as the next total solar eclipse in the U.S. on March 30, 2033. Today's obituaries. Gandhi Mathi Balan, 66 Indian film producer, known for movies like Panchavadi Palam and Nambarathi Puvu. Paula Gassman, 78 Italian actress, let's have a riot. Tusa Misi Tupula, brief Wikipedia summary. Tusa Iono Misi Tupula, a Samoan politician and former MP from 2011 to 2016, has passed away. He was a member of the Human Rights Protection Party and had served as Associate Minister for Transport and Infrastructure during his time in office. Vladimir Aksyonov. Brief Wikipedia summary. Vladimir Aksyonov, a Russian cosmonaut, passed away in 2024 at the age of 89. He flew on Soyuz 22 and Soyuz T2 missions, spending over 11 days in space. Aksyonov also had a successful career post-retirement, receiving numerous awards during his lifetime. Jack Alabaster, a former New Zealand cricketer who played 21 test matches and was known for his leg spin bowling, passed away at the age of 93. He was the only New Zealander to be part of the country's first four test victories and later served as a school principal before retiring. Jamie D'Arminan, brief Wikipedia summary. Jamie D'Arminan was a prominent Spanish screenwriter and film director known for works like My Dearest Senorita and The Love of Captain Brando. His films have received critical acclaim and accolades, including nominations for Academy Awards in the foreign language film category. Arminan passed away in 2024 at the age of 97. Patty Astor, a significant figure in the New York City underground film scene of the 1970s and East Village art scene of the 1980s, was also a gallerist who co-founded the Influential Fun Gallery. Astor passed away in 2024 at the age of 74, leaving a legacy in the arts and hip-hop culture. Moises Barak, a notable Peruvian football manager, passed away at the age of 80. He had an extensive career coaching various clubs, including the Peru national team, leaving a significant impact on Peruvian football. William J. Byron, brief Wikipedia summary. William J. Byron, an American Jesuit priest, served as president of the University of Scranton, 1975-1982, and Catholic University of America, 1982-1992. He made significant contributions to both institutions, including increasing academic quality, fundraising efforts, and campus expansions. Byron passed away in 2024 at the age of 96. Babe Kabita, 34, Indonesian comedian, aplastic anemia. Hugo de los Reyes Chavez, brief Wikipedia summary. Hugo de los Reyes Chavez was a Venezuelan politician and governor of Barinas from 2000 to 2008. He started as a local school teacher, then became a prominent member of the Social Christian Party, COPE. Chavez is best known as the father of former president Hugo Chavez and had a long political career. Health news. Canine intelligence. Dogs have a general cognitive factor similar to humans. Study finds. Cypost. Researchers at Eotvos Loran University have found evidence that dogs possess a general cognitive factor similar to humans, impacting various cognitive abilities and aging patterns. The study included 129 dogs of different breeds, revealing a decline in general cognitive abilities with age, 
highlighting parallels between human and canine aging. I am here to help. Just let me know which text you would like me to summarize for you. Entertainment news. Zendaya reflects on being her family's breadwinner at an early age. I wish I went to school. People. Zendaya discusses her childhood upbringing and early career in the public eye, reflecting on feeling thrust into an adult role and the pressure to meet expectations. She expresses a desire for a more diverse social circle in Hollywood and shares her experiences navigating fame and growth. Sylvester Stallone accused of creating toxic environment on Atlanta set of Tulsa King, Variety. Sylvester Stallone has been accused of creating a toxic environment on the set of the Paramount Plus series Tulsa King in Atlanta, with allegations of disparaging comments towards background actors. Casting director Rose Locke has reportedly quit the show, and Paramount Plus is aware of the claims. You know what really grinds my gears? These headlines about Biden's student loan forgiveness plan benefiting 30 million globes. I mean, good for them, but what about the rest of us who struggled to pay off our student loans without any handouts? It's like the government is rewarding globes for taking on massive amounts of debt. And don't even get me started on dogs sharing cognitive factors with humans. I love dogs as much as the next globe, but comparing their intelligence to ours is a bit of a stretch, don't you think? And China's electric vehicle sales for the week ending April 7th, who cares? I'm all for progress and environmental conservation, but do we really need constant updates on every little detail? And Zendaya discussing her financial responsibilities and desire for education? I mean, good for her for being responsible, but why is this news? Can we focus on more important issues, please? And don't even get me started on the latest trends and watches and the quarterly report from Boeing, who has the time or money to keep up with these things. And as for the next total solar eclipse details, timing, and location, why do we need to know this so far in advance? Can't we just enjoy the natural wonder when it happens without all the hype and anticipation? In conclusion, these headlines may grab our attention for a moment, but in the grand scheme of things, they're just distractions from the real issues that need our focus and attention. Let's get our priorities straight, Globes. Now a couple of dad jokes for you. If at first you don't succeed, skydiving is not for you. What concert costs only 45 cents? 50 cent featuring Nickelback. The great thing about stationary shops is they're always in the same place. Thank you for watching this AGNDD and Tele Report. Like, subscribe, and click the bell button to get notified during new uploads. And make sure to tune in next time. Stay safe and healthy. Cheers. <laughs>